if you're doing a lot of flipping plastics into emergent vegetation, you're definitely going to want to know how to tie the snell knot. If you talk to anglers that spend a lot of time throwing their soft plastics into really thick, heavy, nasty stuff, the far vast majority of them are going to be using a snell knot, and it's got to be one of the quickest and easiest knots to tie, so here it is. I even brought some big rope and a big eyeball here so you can see it really, really well. First thing to take into consideration is make sure that you put the line into the eye from the direction of the hook, the point. So let's imagine that the hook is out like this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and bring that line in that particular side. Really, really, really important. The knot's not gonna work correctly if we don't do that. So if you do it wrong, you're easily gonna be able to tell, so don't worry. Go ahead and pull that line through and then put it down the shank of the hook. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is go ahead and wrap it. I like to wrap it three times. Some people like to wrap it four or five. Do whatever is best for you. Go ahead and wrap it on there and then take it back through down here at the bottom, okay? Just pull that tag end through. Now, the, you tighten the snell knot from that main line. So you're gonna go ahead and pull that main line, and then you've got your knot nice and secure. You can go ahead and trim that off if you like. But here's the interesting thing with that snell knot. When that bullet weight really pushes down hard on it, look what happens look what happens to that hook. So I've got one actually hooked up right here, and this one is, I've actually got it pegged for fishing in really thick cover, and when that bullet weight is, the pressure is put on there with the line, look what it does to that hook. And that is just going to help ensure that that hook comes up inside and grabs the inside of that fish's mouth, which is also really important when you've got a worm weight pegged like that because sometimes that worm weight can be problematic if you have it pegged but if you've got that snell knot that's going to help ensure hookups and as far as the number of times to twist it around the reason I did three is because I like to go on this flipping hook here with this bait keeper and up where the eye is you know three four times works really well to fill up that amount of space but go ahead and experiment with that and see what you prefer well, I hope that Snell Knot video helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions or drop any comments down below if you have some tips or suggestions for our viewers. And hey, make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.